What's up everybody, Craig here, and it's the 23rd of September 2016, so about three days after Apple released Mac OS Sierra, and I'm running my Hackintosh right here on El Capitan. Uh, if you haven't uh, followed my video or you're trying to install El Capitan, you can click on this annotation right here, but basically right now Unibeast, which is the program that will create your USB to install a Hackintosh. Uh, it doesn't support Mac OS Sierra. Obviously it's three days. And if you want to wait and then you know wait till Unibeast has support for OS Sierra and then do it then fine. But as of right now the Tony Mac website, which is like the point of contact for all Hackintosh the whole Hackintosh project, um, put this out and basically you can update to Sierra right now by following this right here. I haven't done it yet. I'm uh on uh, El Capitan right now so as you can see um, I am on 11.6 10.11.6 so um, I'm on El Capitan so I haven't done Sierra so so we're gonna walk through this together so let's go ahead and get started okay first thing you're gonna need is Clover Configurator if you're already on uh, a Hackintosh you should have it if not uh, you can click this link right here and it'll download it uh, but you're going to go ahead and want to mount your EFI partition, which has your config file, which is your file that has all your settings. Um, basically, if you were to mess up that file, you wouldn't be able to even boot into the Hackintosh. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open that Clover Configurator, and I'm going to mount my EFI partition. And I'm going to click Mount, and I believe it's this one. And then you got to put in your password. And then I'm going to hit open partition. And then there it is. There's my EFI partition. Okay. And so it said go ahead and do that. And then you're going to go to uh, to this uh, folder right here. So we're going to go ahead and go to EFI. We're going to go to Clover. We're going to go to Kex. And then it wants you to go to other. But I created a folder called 10.12 just, just for safe measure. And I put both uh, all, all the Kex that I need in the other and 10.12 uh, which my kecks are right here um, basically if you follow my video you'll probably want the same kecks and you can download uh, the kecks here it'll have it uh, see the link right there so if you need to download the kecks you can uh, and then drag it into that folder so after that you're going to go ahead and download uh, Mac OS Sierra I already have it download and then you're going to go ahead and run it uh, and then we'll boot up and when we boot up we're going to be going into the boot options and we're going to be selecting without caches and inject kex uh, before we boot up now remember if you don't have the uh, web drivers for the um, and I don't even know if mine will work but it said it was good to go for Sierra but we're gonna find out uh, but the biggest thing is is to make a backup right now I just did a time machine backup so in case this screws up I'll be able to roll back to this so I have uh, so have two things ready have a El Capitan USB ready to go and I'll go ahead and put that link right there in that annotation again I have a USB go ahead and make it uh, follow my video and make that USB and then uh, have that ready to go just in case you need to roll back and then um, make a, uh, a backup right now a time machine backup a carbon copy backup whatever you want okay just in case this screws up because I don't even know if the uh, NVIDIA web drivers are even gonna work uh, but they should it said it would so we'll see all right with that said we're going to go ahead and open up the install so Mac OS Sierra and we're going to go ahead and, and roll with the update. And right now I'm going to go ahead and close my EFI partition. I'm going to eject it. Right, we don't need that right now. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and click update. And then when I do, I'm going to click uh, without caches and inject kex uh, when I uh, go to the boot options. All right, agree. Agree and go ahead and put it on this guy alright install I'm gonna let this do its thing and then I will be back okay uh, when it gets done this thing will be bouncing around and then it'll see ready to restart now remember now that we have our um, 
EFI partition all updated with our new t uh, kex in the clover folder uh, in the kex folder um, we're going to select without caches and or inject kex when we go to the boot options so restart okay this brings us to the clover boot options okay um, so here we are at the clover boot manager screen and um, I looked around for uh, without caches I couldn't find that now I knew by going to the binaries patching that kex patching allows in there um, so I'm pretty sure that's what it's talking about um, so I got th that was already checked so we're good on that but um, right now I have a, a boot argument in there called nv underscore uh, nvda underscore drv equals one which means I have an NVIDIA web driver downloaded for my 980 Ti for El Capitan so go ahead and use it but the thing is is right now we're going to Sierra so we don't have the updated NVIDIA web driver downloaded and installed and we couldn't do it while we were on El Capitan because it would give us a error message saying this isn't supported um, so this is the only way you have to do it you actually have to uh, NV underscore disable equals one um, which is basically saying don't use uh, the web driver NV, oops, mess that up. NV underscore disable equals one. Okay, there we go. Um, so that what that's saying right there is do not use the web drivers. Um, just go ahead and, and, and get me into the operating system so I can do my thing. Um, it's going to be a really ugly res resolution. It's going to be flashy, uh, but it's going to get us in there so we can go ahead and install them web drivers. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and go in and um, oops, go to the graph graphic injector, and we're going to inject NVIDIA. Uh, again, this is just going to um, give us that resolution so we can get in there and make our changes. Um, and so now because we downloaded and went through the install wizard, the update install wizard for Sierra, uh, instead of booting from Mac, you're going to boot from uh, Mac OS install. So this is the Sierra basically getting ready to update your computer to it. It's a little downloaded install file ready to go ahead and apply the update. So we're going to boot Mac OS install from Mac. All right, this is good. So you can see that the install portion of that... Uh, partition of the the Mac hard drive is gone which means it has installed Sierra so Sierra is installed but now we gotta go ahead and run through the options again because uh, I have it set to default to go back to using my NVIDIA web drivers every time I gotta go ahead and put NV underscore disable equals one until I get those web drivers installed and I gotta go ahead and, and patch the graphics injector Inject NVIDIA. Okay. Okay. All right. So, thumbs crossed. Boot from Mac. Let's go. All right, and just like I said, so this is going to be an ugly resolution. This is just so we can install our um, NVIDIA web drivers. So uh, I apologize for the flashing and the, yeah, so it's going to look ugly until we get our stuff working again. But here we are, OS uh, Sierra, so good news for Hackintosh. All right, it's getting pretty cool. So enable Siri for this Mac sounds pretty legit. And here we are. Okay, I was going to uh, install a web driver that I had already downloaded, but NVIDIA is going ahead and telling me that, hey, there's an update available. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one instead. So I'm going to download and install this one. Hopefully it works. Looks like it is. Okay, the installation is finished. Now we restart. So it looks like we're good to go. We have a completely updated Mac OS Sierra Hackintosh and the NVIDIA web drivers are installed and then when I restart I'm going to go ahead and enable those boot flags so I will be able to use my NVIDIA web drivers and we should go right back to my 1440p resolution. 
So let's find out. Okay, one thing to point out. Um, so everything worked perfectly except that um, my NVDA underscore DRV equals one that enabled the web drivers to be used no longer works. It just plain old doesn't work. So I deleted it because there's no sense in it being in there. And from now on, every single time I reboot, I have to go in here and hit uh, use uh, NVIDIA web drivers. So I gotta, I gotta tick that every single time I have to boot. Usually there's a way you can um, update that in NVIDIA, uh, in Clover Configurator, but I have not figured that out yet. Um, there's nothing in there that says uh, use NVIDIA web drivers except uh, putting NVDA underscore um, DRV equals one. So every single time I boot up, I have to hit tick that, and then I mean it works, but I usually like just to reboot and, and, and go. I don't like to tick something every time I restart. So something I'll be working on, but but hey, um, as you can see, we're, we're we're up and running on a 1440p uh, monitor. Now connected. Okay, as you can see, everything worked. We are uh, running Mac OS Sierra 10.12. Um, everything works great. We got Siri down here in the bottom left. A um, bunch of cool new features. Uh, so everything worked. I'm real happy about this. Um, one thing I had to do though, it did um, boot up into that crappy resolution. And I had to go in here and then uh, unlock this little lock right here. And okay, so I'll show you where it is. Uh, NVIDIA Driver Manager, you click that. You unlock this little lock right here, use NVIDIA WebDriver, and then it'll say, hey, you got to restart, and you restart. And then uh, remember that graphic injector uh, boot options that we were going through when I hit uh, inject NVIDIA? There has a check mark in there that's new to Clover. It wasn't there before. Um, so that's like a new update or something like that because I was using NVDA underscore DRV equals one. Um, well, evidently, now all you have to do is check the check mark in there and you're good to go. And it will go ahead and start using those uh, web drivers. So I had to check that in order for this to work. So you're going to go into here, unlock the lock, check NVIDIA web driver, reboot. And then when you're at the boot option screens, you're going to go to options, graphic injector menu, and you're going to tick the little tick where it says use NVIDIA web drivers. So that's it. Uh, we have a successful update to Mac OS Sierra on version 10.12 on a Hackintosh. So everything worked out great. Everything looks great. I'm real happy. Um, if you liked it and it helped you, go ahead and smash that like uh, button and uh, subscribe, comment. You know, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching Craig's Tech.